good afternoon it is uh, uh, Friday May 19th 2023 at uh, 535 in the afternoon we are on the Dry Creek arm of Lake Sonoma uh, having road from Rockpile Road ramp 5.29 miles up here <clears throat> we made camp at uh, Logger's Camp, site number 11, and uh, we've had some dinner, and uh, well, that looks like the sheriff's patrol boat going down there. <clears throat> anyway, um, we've had some dinner, and I thought uh, before the sun goes down, I want to go row up uh, Smith Creek. So... cell phone camera for this video uh, on account of the uh, new battery that I put into the uh, 360 camera oh, about three hours ago. Uh, I went to take the camera out and I'm out in the boat and the camera was hot. I mean hot to the touch. So I took the battery out, boxed it up, and left it. So we're going to use the cell phone camera. Right now you're looking back. You can see up in the tree because of the glare, but our tent's right up there. <coughs> and I left the rearview mirror up in the tent. I don't have the rear view mirror, my little clip on anyway, so I'll have to pay close attention to what's behind me here. Dare I say, ahead of us. Uh, the wind's come up out of the uh, north right now, and it's blowing pretty good. There's some white caps out here, some heavy gusts. out on a point overlooking the uh, bay here, except the point is only barely a foot above water, and most of the camp is underwater.
take a chance and creep up along the shore here and come, coming back. my head to look in the clip-on mirror and it's not there. <clears throat> I made a mistake in uh, wearing it up to the camp. And I think I left it on the table. Well, <clears throat> getting around the corner here makes a big difference. Um, I neglected to bring the uh, little receiver unit for the uh, remote microphone <clears throat> for the cell phone camera, so the sound is going to be probably nasty with wind and, and uh, my voice kind of far away. so you can see where we're headed. Last time I remember rowing up Smith Creek, the water was down fairly, fairly far. Uh, it was about well, at least two years ago, and uh, I was just uh, easing my way through the snags, rowing backwards, and a fox came out of the brush up on the hill and came down to the water's edge and turned and went along the water's edge going upstream <clears throat> until he came to the end of water and the uh, the uh, creek channel had uh, was very shallow back in there <clears throat> so there was about a, a four foot uh, high mud bank Fox walked out onto that and sniffed around a little bit. And I was sitting very quietly. He probably knew I was there, but uh, <clears throat> I was not moving or making any noise. And uh, he ambled back along the water, kind of the way he'd come, and I went a little bit further and 
just exploring the shore and then he turned and went up the hillside he was in an opening uh, an open area with no trees and I could watch him and he just ambled up the hill and disappeared into the trees <clears throat> but he, he was big he was uh, he was big and looked very healthy headwind because I'm going to need to turn around and row backwards. Maybe what I can do is uh, turn the boat around and take a look and then set a course. <clears throat> Just don't want to get back in here and get in trouble. shore of Smith Creek. She comes up out of the lake. <clears throat> and I've uh, first time I came up here and stayed at Logger Camp, I got up one morning, went for a hike, and I found that road and followed it back up the canyon <clears throat> until it got to a place where uh, the road had washed out and there was a big cliff down into the creek. And I could have climbed a bunch of rocks and bushwhacked around it, but I thought that that was enough of a walk. <clears throat> Looks like there's a trail up on the side of the mountain there. I don't, it's been so long since I, I was over here walking that I don't really remember <clears throat> if I was on that trail or not. I think I might have been. So, I have to beach the boat someplace here and walk back. At least there's a trail I can get to. <clears throat> I don't know how much glare that is in the camera. Duck or maybe a fish up there. Can't 
tell there's a lot of spl some splashing going on. <clears throat> I think it's a merganser. <clears throat> kind of a red duck with white stripes. And he, he's not the shape, doesn't have the shape of a uh, of a mallard. <clears throat> Skinnier. Yeah, that's what it was. He was up here fishing. Two bald eagles up there soaring. They're up pretty high. <clears throat> and they're coming this way. They're too high for me to show you. <clears throat> and then I think there's two turkey vultures up there in the same thermal area. Yeah, I can spot the bright white head and tail. Two baldies. Not to play in the afternoon wind. Out in here is uh, where that mud bank was. But it's probably 30 feet below us right now. See if I can row backwards. It's a fair amount of wind, so it's going to be a chore. But I think I can do it. Get the oars tilted in the right direction. a bit a bit to deal with not much but fortunately the water is just so smooth out here so
side of this big snag. It's uh, probably 40 feet tall. Anyway, maybe 50. And uh, it's very rotten. <clears throat> and it's leaning way over that way. I don't want to mess with it. I had a hood over that uh, cell phone camera to keep the sun right off the lens. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the thing around so you don't have to keep looking at me. I found that... Uh, where's that button? Notice that uh, with the cell phone camera <clears throat> uh, posting videos on YouTube, that I got a whole lot more views uh, when the camera was pointed away from me. And uh, can't say as I blame people. I try not to look at myself in the mirror. <clears throat> This is just gorgeous back in here. <clears throat> Get into some shade here. Where you can see without the glare of the sun. <clears throat> Spider webs floating, floating on the breeze. Lovely back here. <clears throat> I seem to remember the time I uh, hiked back in here. Uh, <clears throat> there's a place where the, there goes a great blue. place where the trail kind of got thin and uh, I seem to remember turning down the hill coming through past some boulders and, and, the, uh, and the trees to get down close to the water and I had to go back up because there no way through oh and here we are at the end of water big uh, pile of rocks right across the stream and a couple of very large trees that have fallen down there. <coughs> There's a, I don't know what that tree is, it might be a bay that little one there, right? The sun shining on it. Reflection in the water. Well, 
I thought we might come to an area where it would start getting shallow and bouldery, but uh, <clears throat> that looks like a doesn't look like a landslide. It looks like a I don't know what they call them, a dike, rock dike. It's been exposed by the creek. some large boulders on the bank here. There's a great big one. Looks like it's about 15 feet high. I got a video of this. <clears throat> I wonder if I can sneak through here without getting in trouble. I need to keep an eye out through the water. Fortunately, it's a little bit clearer back in here. You can see down about three or four feet. Oh, that is a mud bank. Yeah, you can see the water is eating away at the shore. And uh, those rocks have fallen off there. <clears throat> tilt the camera because there's a very large boulder right up there. The sun shining on it. This is just quite beautiful. Looks like there's some wild grapes back in here growing up in the trees. side up there. <clears throat> Tilt the camera down because this is worth seeing.
going backwards with the uh, <clears throat> rudder poking out there in front. <clears throat> when it decides it wants to go some other direction, it just takes off and goes. Here's what I believe is an alder. Well, maybe not. I can't. The leaves don't look like they have those ridges in them. Well, maybe they do. They're subtle. Look at the color of that. Smith Creek. Wind. On our way out of here. I think uh, as long as the shade here <clears throat> and you don't look into the glare of the sun I can turn around here and you know, there's a little bit of sun coming through the trees just gorgeous
going to be uh, potentially difficult getting back to our uh, takeout site <clears throat> because there's a very, very strong crosswind blowing down the lake. But uh, we'll do what we can. One way or another, we'll make it work. <clears throat> All right, back in the sun again. Well, this thing's gone for 40 minutes, so I am going to uh, shut it down and wish you all a very good evening, and we'll catch you all later. Wish us luck with this landing.